I want my music to be heard for longer than 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it needs to be heard as a whole. Yeah. But, like, as an outsider watching in, I do use TikTok, like, all the time. So, yeah, okay. I love it. Is it better than I see you? Wrong when it feels so right. Wrong when it feels so right. It don't make sense, but it feels so nice. Show me, show me. All. This is a really great question because I feel like I haven't gotten asked this, like, a lot. It really ended up being, like, whichever ones got finished at the end of the day. Um, but I guess it's more about, like, how I decide which ones to finish. Um, like, I'm not the kind of artist that makes like 25, 30 songs and then we decide which ones make the record like at the end of the day. Like, I'm very much an artist that is intentional. I'm like, I'm only gonna make 12 to 15 songs and we'll decide from there. Um, I'm very slow when it comes to songwriting. Very, very slow. And um, I don't like to write if I don't feel fertile, like in writing, if I feel any sort of like wall, then I'm like, yep, I give up for the day. Like I'll, I'll try again when it feels like I'm more invested in the emotions of what I'm writing about. There were actually like three to four other songs that like I really wanted to write to for the album, but we just couldn't get the sounds right for those. Like it didn't make sense in the context. Like as, as more and more songs built up for the album, certain demos started to feel out of place or maybe um like i love that in gabriel there's like a variety i didn't want there to be any filler i didn't want there to be any repeats in terms of like how something sounded so like we have a song on there called angel that's like a rock ballad um that i'm in love with and the other demo that we were working on happened to have a lot of similar elements to it um and that was one of the reasons why that one didn't make it onto the record because Angel was basically just a better version of that other one. Um, so yeah, like that's kind of how we kind of figured it out. Pair is is a is an interlude in which my dad speaks, and I prompted him and asked, you know, if you were to tell yourself something at 18 years old, like what would you say? And he basically talks about his life there, and because this album is how I'm processing my life currently and I'm at an age where, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about family, I'm thinking about, you know, my future and like kids and like a few years and stuff like that. You know, th th those are just the things that are on my mind recently. And it just felt appropriate to kind of circle it all back with my own father, you know, and to kind of see, you know, what was his mindset when he was like my age and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was really important. And uh, like the whole album is so candid and honest. It felt appropriate to have them be on there and give perspective and, like on my life as well. So yeah, it's, it is emotional actually. It was emotionally for me to, to record him in my studio and like, yeah, and listen, because um, I don't speak French. So I was, you know, with my mom and me, my mom and my dad were in my room. And uh, after he spoke and we got a good take, um, I had to ask him to translate it for me and when he translated it like I was uh, like I was uh, like almost brought to tears because like I don't talk to my dad in that way like I don't ask him personal questions and stuff and to hear him talk about something so so personal was like uh, very different for me so yeah. Uh, over the pandemic like I, I've always loved like you know watching people bartend like mixology and stuff like that on youtube so like i wanted to get into like making drinks like at home uh for me and my fiance so i've like uh garnered a taste for whiskey and like i actually really enjoy it and it's one of my things that i do like every night as like a zen sort of thing i don't get like absolutely smashed drunk i just like enjoy making drinks for the two of us like to enjoy it i love tiktok first of all i use it like for hours every day like i'm addicted to it it's bad um <laughs> But um, I, it's so interesting how it has really changed the landscape of music and how artists get discovered because I feel like I, I was kind of discovered at the end of the era of SoundCloud in which like, um, like it, it's like it's completely different, the climate, like trying to get discovered and like finding new music. Um, it's so viral now and it's so immediate and it's so quick and um i am and will always be skeptical of like like tiktok hits and like virality because i feel like um i feel like you want your music to last like a long time you know you don't want it to like get instantly popular and get like as much as nice as it is to have like so many millions of views and plays 
Um, I want my music to be heard for longer than 20 seconds. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it needs to be heard as a whole. Yeah. Um, but, like, as an outsider watching in, like, it is so interesting to see, like, how people, like, grow and, like, grow their fan bases off of it and stuff like that, too, you know? Um, but I do use TikTok, like, all the time, so, yeah, okay. I love it. Joshua, thank you so much. We've spoken. Um, I, I'm so, like, I have so much love for you, man. Like, thank you so much for, for all the love that you give. And I'm so grateful that, like, you know, I even have people who want to listen to me. And, um... I hope that you're looking forward to the album and I hope that you enjoy it. Like, um, like I hope it grows on you if, it, if it's not immediate and I hope that you can listen to it for like multiple years to come. And I, I can't wait to go and play for, for you and everyone in, in all of Asia. Like I, I'm dying to go and play shows over there. So hopefully you don't have to wait too much longer. Um, and uh, you know, I'll see you soon.